Sky for Android now brings floating window support to tablets. Samsung integrates their camera and smartphone departments to be more aggressive, and Apple's iWatch could be their first attempt at wireless charging. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if there ever was a beard-flavored coffee, I'd be the first one in line to get it. Uh, did I get that right, Jacob? It was your joke. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Skype for Android has just gotten better. The company has just implemented floating window support to video chats, meaning you can multitask while you're on your, and that's really the catch, while you're on your tablet. This only works for Android tablets right now, but it is a step in the right direction. You can multitask to different applications, different services while you're on a video chat, and it's great because you really want to do that sometimes on your tablet. You've got all that canvas to do that. So let's see what happens with the iOS since things happen last on Windows Phone. Now, if you thought that Google didn't pay attention to your complaints about the Nexus 5, think again. The company has just sent out a new batch of Nexus 5 hardware, you know, new phones, and they do bring bigger speaker holes for those that were complaining about the speaker quality on the Nexus 5. And they're also fixing the SIM tray as well, but it's sad to see that those people that actually bought the phone first won't be getting this revision because it's a hardware revision, but it's great to see that it's happening. At least uh, less people will complain, right? And even though the merger between AT&T and T-Mobile did not happen, it seems that there is a new company interested in this is Sprint. Apparently they're interested in working on a merger. This is just a rumor right now, nothing specific, but it's really sad as T-Mobile has recently been making changes that have actually disrupted the smartphone market in the United States. And we were thinking that they were headed in the right direction. It's sad to see them go if they do, because most likely Sprint will be the higher company, but we'll see. Now let's talk about Apple as we're getting more rumors of the iWatch and apparently Apple is willing to leave their comfort zone when it comes to the design of this watch. They don't like wireless charging and still one of the biggest rumors right now is that apparently they will be implementing that with the iWatch, which is interesting since their lightning cable is really small. We were expecting that to be the same charger for the iWatch, but stay tuned, these are just rumors. Let's see what happens early next year. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung has just decided to merge their camera imaging department with their smartphone and mobile department, which is really interesting. We've got the Galaxy S4 Zoom, the Galaxy Camera, the Galaxy NX, so it does make sense for us to get better camera phones or phones that are cameras or whatever, but we also want better imaging quality, and it's interesting since Samsung has decided to ditch the whole optical image stabilization, so 2014 is gonna be a very interesting year, but that leads me to the question of the day. What would you like Samsung to innovate with this merger? Because, for example, in my particular case, what I would love is to have a smartphone that does not require expandable lenses, but then you can also attach them, like we've seen some clips for the iPhone. I'd love to see that officially come from Samsung, but leave us a comment down below. And yeah, not so bloated as the Sony one. And we'll see. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.